Hi, welcome to Books with Lexi. This video is my vlog for the second weekend of Halloween weekend readathon. I'm not going to explain this whole readathon every single time I do one of these videos, but I'm hosting a readathon in October called Halloween weekend readathon. It runs every Thursday night through Sunday night in your time zone, so I will have vlogs out weekly for that. All other information is linked in the description. If you have not watched my first video, I will have that linked for you as well. That kind of explains more of what I'm doing with my little themes. So I have four co-hosts and I will be spending a weekend reading books not based on them, but kind of inspired by them. So there are some reading prompts that have to do with the different co-hosts. There's one where you have to read a host favorite trope. There's one you have to match the book to a co-host thumbnail. So I decided that I'm going to do both of those prompts every weekend and then also be completing the readathon on top of that anyway. So the readathon is run like a checklist. Here is my current progress from last week. The main reading prompts and the bonus reading prompts. This weekend I'm going to be reading books because of Kaylee from Kaylee's Books. So for my official main prompt for the weekend because I already did the host's favorite trope. I will be doing match a thumbnail. So I will be reading Truly Darkly Deeply by Victoria Selman because it matches this thumbnail. My unofficial prompt to read a host favorite trope, I will be reading The Last One by Will Dean for vacation setting. And then for the bonus prompt, I will be reading a new to me author and I will be reading Delicate Condition by Danielle Valentine. So it is Thursday night. I am on reading sprints with Michelle and Monica. I have to finish another book before I can really get into reading for this. I'm also leaving tomorrow. I am going on a little trip to New York City to visit Kaylee. So that's why Kaylee was picked for this weekend. I will be starting tonight with Delicate Condition because this is a buddy read that I'm doing with Michelle and Monica. So once I have gotten into reading, I will update you, but I'm really, really excited for all of these books. Good morning. I did not talk to you much yesterday because I did not finish <laughs> reading anything um, until Okay, so I told you I had to finish another book, and I finished that, um, but that took most of my time, and then I was packing and getting some Patreon stuff done. I was working on bookmarks for that, and then I've been packing because I am getting ready to go to drive to visit Kaylee. Um, I'm very excited. We're going to hang out. Mel is going to be there tomorrow. I cannot wait. Um, so I don't have any real updates. Oh, I am, actually, I do have an update. I am 25% into Delicate Condition by Danielle Valentine. So far hate it <laughs> like it's good but the whole thing has been this woman doing IVF and talking about how terrible it is and how terrible pregnancy will be and all this stuff and I'm like so like it's good but also I'm not having a good time <laughs> so I personally need the horror outside of the real life horror to pick up because I don't know how much I can take of this pregnancy. Something that's like terrifying to me. Like, so it's um, effective, but I'm, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to talk about this. Um, but where I left off, like I know that the horror is going to be starting. So I will talk to you at some point. The next time will likely be when I'm in New York City.
it is Monday morning. I didn't actually speak to you any this weekend because I've been at Kaylee's the whole weekend, but I have finished Delicate Condition. I read 25% of that every day, buddy reading that with Michelle and Monica. That one did not really work for me. It was full of gaslighting and like medical gaslighting and it just is not my favorite thing in a story so I'm still not sure of my rating but it's probably gonna be three stars um so not terrible but also just not my favorite thing um honestly it could be two and a half and I am now a third into the last ones by Will Dean I'll talk more about delicate condition later when I'm home um so the last one I'm a third in and we are following a woman who is on a cruise with her boyfriend and she wakes up the next day and her boyfriend is gone. She's like wandering around the ship. The crew is gone. She does end up finding a few other people and they are trying to figure out what is going on, where all these people went, like if everyone is okay, how they're supposed to survive. And I got to a reveal about what is going on and I'm very into it. So I'm excited to keep reading. I will probably get through another third of it on my car ride and then switch to truly darkly deeply or whatever it's called but i'm really excited for both so i will talk to you i have been driving for a while i just stopped if you can see yep mcdonald's um i'm 75 percent into the last one the one i was talking about earlier and i honestly cannot talk at all about it because literally everything that's happening is a spoiler because like you get a reveal of something and then everything has to do with that so like i cannot tell you anything but i'm really enjoying this it's a lot of fun i think the first part was too long but it's feeling like four to four and a half stars at this point so i'm gonna go get mcdonald's there's bad traffic so i needed to take a break and i will talk to you later once i finish it is monday night so i drove home today i'm gonna give you a quick recap of the weekend and then i'm gonna talk about the last one which i finished this afternoon so uh, friday i drove to kaylee's we were hanging out for a little bit i took her and her roommate to Target to get some bookshelves because it's difficult for them to get them without cars and I had my car so I offered to do that and Friday was a pretty relaxed day. Also in the car on Friday I got to 50% of delicate condition. Thursday night I read 25% which I talked to you about. Friday in the car I read 25% to get to 50% and then I switched to reading The Last One by Will Dean and I got maybe 20% into that and then I had to stop because so many things were going on with driving that I just like the last half an hour to 45 minutes I didn't listen to my book. So then Saturday I woke up and I listened to another 25% of Delicate Condition. I get up earlier than Kaylee and her roommate so I was doing that which worked out because I needed to do this buddy read. My audiobook loan returned at like noon on Sunday so I did that Saturday morning then we had the Hall Weekend event, the Hall Weekend hangout on Katrina's channel. We played Red Book and then we read some of your ghost stories. Then we hung out for a little bit and then we went into the city to get dinner with Mel and David. David wanted to watch this football game, so we were there and like screaming at each other and could not hear anything. And then we went to The Strand and Barnes and Noble. And then we went back and Kaylee and I and her roommate watched a movie and then Sunday woke up. I once again woke up before everybody and I finished Delicate Condition. Um, I think I said two and a half to three stars. With my enjoyment of the book, it is going to be more towards two and a half. I was buddy reading this with Michelle and Monica and they both liked it significantly more than me. I just don't enjoy books that have this much gaslighting in them. At first it was fine and then I thought it was going to like move away from that and it really did not. And like I just couldn't, I can't, it's, that's just not something that I want to read. And then I just had some issues with things making sense I guess um, with how everything wrapped up. I don't think it was a bad book but I am a little bummed because I'm going to an event with this author at the end of the month. I would just not go, but Ashley Winstead is going to be there, so I gotta be there. And I was going to get a copy of the book and get it signed, but now I will not be doing that. And my ticket came with a voucher for buying a book, and I already own Ashley Winstead's books, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, I finished that on Sunday, 
and then um kaylee her roommate and i went on a walk and then we went to a like coffee bagel place then we hung out we were reading for a little bit and then we ended up going to meet mel and david for dinner and um, we went to a pizza place and then afterwards we went to Times square we were walking around and we ended up in a candy store and then went back to kaylee's apartment and then this morning i woke up and packed and left but i had so 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 much fun like <laughs> hanging out with kaylee and mel in person was incredible and i really had the best time also whenever we went to um the strand and barnes and noble i ended up getting two books i got let him in by william friend this cover so disturbing and it's blurred by darcy coates and nat cassidy is on the front so that, the cover, the synopsis, I just had to buy this. And then I also got The Law of the Skies because of Sherry. Both of these are horror. And I'm really excited to have these. I haven't been buying books, but I really think I'm going to like both of these. So I'm happy with these purchases. These are the only books that I bought. Okay, on to my thoughts on the last one. This one is so hard to talk about because the synopsis doesn't give away really anything of what happens and like anything I could say about it um even with being vague like I could give you major spoilers and like part of the fun is not knowing what is going on so I don't want to like tell you that so my final rating I think is going to be four and a half stars I really like this the turn that it takes is one that I personally am so obsessed with I just have a couple like issues with some motivation for things that happened it didn't really make a lot of sense sometimes and like a little bit of the explanation towards the end I was like I don't know I think this has a little bit of issues with it's a man writing a female main character I don't think it is done badly but just like every once in a while a decision is made and I'm like I don't know about that but really I did love this and I do want to get a copy from my shelves. This is from the library. So I got home. I was hanging out with Adam for a while. And I've been editing this video. And now I'm going to start on Truly Darkly Deeply. Which is technically my main reading prompt for this weekend. Delicate Condition was my bonus prompt for a new to me author. And then the last one was like my bonus bonus book. Not a bonus prompt but because I'm doing the themed weekends. For the co-hosts this is a vacation setting for one of Kaylee's favorite tropes and then this is the match a thumbnail so I'm gonna get to reading I'll check in tonight and then I'll probably finish it like pretty late so I will give you my final update tomorrow and wrap everything up and like show you my little wrap-up graphics I'm a little less than half into truly darkly deeply I'm 130 pages in and this is a very psychological Mm, thriller I guess would be the category that I would put it in there is a slight mystery so we are following Sophie and her mother Amelia Rose and when Sophie is younger her and her mom move from Massachusetts to London and her mom gets into this relationship with this guy Maddie he becomes very much a part of their lives he's dating Amelia Rose and very much becomes like a father figure for Sophie. <laughs> I almost said Olivia, don't know why. And Sophie really, really loves Maddie. They have a really good connection. And then there start to become some issues between Maddie and Amelia Rose. And at the same time that is happening, a serial killer is on the loose. <laughs> a serial killer is targeting women and they happen to look a lot like Amelia Rose. So Maddie is arrested and he is put in prison, he's convicted, but he says he's innocent. So we are following Sophie when she is older and she is reflecting on this whole situation. Um, we do see her interacting with her mom and just seeing how being so close to somebody who is convicted for these brutal crimes can like mess with people. Maddie has reached out to Sophie specifically saying um, that he's dying and that he wants her to visit him in prison and she still has some doubts about things and she also feels guilty because she still feels this connection with him. So halfway in we are watching her reflect on 
the past. She's thinking about these different instances where things could be interpreted as him being a killer or possibly not. It is super, super psychological. It's very much in her head. She's thinking about these situations, which is how we are learning about them since she is an adult now. She gets the letter like super early on and where I am right now, she has not met with him yet. I think that'll be very interesting. There's a secret that we don't really know all the details of and then obviously we don't know if Maddie is the serial killer or not. Seems very suspicious, you know, but um, I'm really enjoying this. It's feeling like it's going to be four stars. I was listening to the audiobook while I was doing some uh, Patreon bookmark stuff and I flew through the 130 something pages that I've read so far. I am going to get ready for bed and keep listening to it until I fall asleep. Hello. So I am going to do that and then I will likely finish just a little bit in the morning and I will give you my final thoughts and show you everything I completed for Hollow Weekend Readathon so far. I finished Truly Darkly Deeply and I'm gonna give this four stars. So this book, if you like um, The Quiet Tenant by Clemence Michelon or maybe Strange Sally Diamond. Um, both of those felt darker, but it's like a similar storytelling vibe. Um, anyway, if you like those, I would recommend this. I wanted this one to be a little bit darker for my personal taste, but I think it was good. The, like, twist you won't see coming and all of that stuff, like, I don't really agree with that, but I just had a good time reading this. It was just very interesting. Um, it deals a lot with like, what do you do if somebody that you love like very deeply has done terrible things to other people? So it's very psychological, which is something that I enjoy. It's pretty slow paced, but it is quick to read in my opinion. So yeah, I enjoyed it, four stars. So for this weekend, I have completed my two prompts, my match a co-host thumbnail, I have truly, darkly, deeply, and then for a new to me author, I read Delicate Condition. Four stars for this, two and a half stars for Delicate Condition, and then four and a half stars for the last one, which I read on top of the prompts to read one of Kaylee's favorite tropes. So here is my current progress for the readathon two weekends down and I have two of the main reading prompts done and two of the bonus reading prompts done. I am so, so excited for the next weekend. There's a special event planned on my channel for Friday the 13th and I just have a lot of really cool things that I'm doing this weekend, possibly hanging out with some of the co-hosts. So you definitely don't want to miss out on next week's vlog. If you are looking to find me in other places on the internet, everything is linked in the description, including my bookstagram, my storygraph, and my Patreon. Just a reminder, if you are in my Patreon in October, depending on the tier, there are different Hollow Week and Readathon stickers that you will get included. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!